here to make sense of it all is Sherwood Lumber CEO OO Kyle Little. Kyle, it's great to speak with you again. The last time we checked in, we thought that maybe this drop had already run its course, but it keeps going. Does that surprise you? I think, uh, thank you, Kelly. Thank you for having me. I think uh, just to talk about where we were before, we, we kind of indicated that we were uh, moving uh, very low uh, in this uh, sell-off uh, back uh, in early uh, July when we talked about the market since uh, fell back another 28%. Uh, but we also stated that uh, the prices would likely see, follow a more seasonal pattern this year, uh, which they have, and uh, start to see a bottoming out somewhere between two and three weeks from that time period. Uh, that has happened. Uh, we've been steadily trading in a very narrow price range uh, at the bottom uh, 10 to 15 percent of that uh, of that sell off. And I think today we continue to see that um, uh, uh, support level starting to be in, you know, lumber in particular, specifically the derivative that's tracked is only one piece of the pie. Uh, there's so many other products that are involved specifically to forest products that had to start following that trend. They have done so, and now we're starting to see a much uh, much more renewed interest in uh, purchasing uh, fiber as we move into uh, later in this third quarter. So what do you think the right price of lumber is these days, Kyle? I mean, it, we're looking around 500. Does that make economic sense to you? And how have we had supply catch up to demand? Well, we... I would say as far as the price structure goes, it makes absolute sense. In the, uh, if we look back to pre-pandemic, uh, the marketplace was in a very uh, a linear and vertical trend channel. And the sell-off that we had in, in early uh, uh, Q1 uh, or late Q1, early Q2 of uh, 2020 relative to COVID, you know, took us out of that. We went, have since moved back. Uh, and then because of the supply disruptions, we moved to an all-time unprecedented high. Uh, now we're going through this uh, equilibrium stage or search for equilibrium. And what we are finding is the support level that follows uh, the bottom end of that continual trend pre-COVID. Uh, it's very, very uh, bullish. It's also one uh, that would be uh, make a lot of us in the lumber world feel much more comfortable uh, going and rebuilding inventories. Uh, here for the second half of this year with the, the projected uh, demand that we are now seeing. So in other words, you think that the price should still be structurally higher for a while. And can you kind of tell us about the broader universe? You mentioned other forest products. Is lumber in its own world because the run-up was so pronounced? Um, how does this compare with other inputs and uh, sort of the, where you see demand from customers? Well, what, what's interesting is lumber is that one component, and specifically the derivative, that went up roughly 400% from in the move uh, prior to it, and now has come down uh, since. Other products in the forest products world, specifically panels, those would be four by eight sheets that would go into the wall or roof construction. Those saw anywhere from 700 to 800% price increases. They have now since come back to what we would see in pre-pandemic uh, levels that would be in much more, more normal range. And when I say we over the last three weeks, we've seen renew interest, that renew interest is now turning into actual orders and people placing business here for the second half of this year, most notably in the, uh, uh, the commercial segment and into the multifamily unit segments. Commercial and multifamily, so not so much from the single family. I wouldn't say single family has fallen off as much, but it is still very, very solid and pro a pronounced demand. But multifamily, which really went away, when we, we really talked about in early May and into the June where we said that the, we should wait for lumber prices to move off, that segment really took a, took a break. Now, over the last three to six weeks, we've seen a substantial change uh, in, that, in those customers and those developers' sentiment, and they are booking projects here for the, the second half of this year and into 2022. That's fascinating. Kyle, as always, thank you for letting us check in and see how business is going as we explain one of the most unusual parts of the market this year. Thank you, Kyle.